Welcome to my review of Zorin OS 7. Now this was my favourite distro last year, the one that I would certainly recommend to anyone who's new to Linux, because whether you come from the Windows world or Mac world, there's something here for you. You can have the desktop you were used to, or a whole new desktop. So let's take a look at the party piece of this distro first, which is the look changer. Now with the Zorin OS 7 Ultimate, you get six different styles of desktops. The desktop I have here is the Windows 7, you can see with the Windows 7 style menu. Now we can switch to Windows XP mode, if the previously open applications have a different view. But the menu looks like, ah oh yes, fairly like the Windows XP menu. Windows 2000 style. A Unity style desktop. Now I say styled because it's not the Ubuntu Unity itself. But like Unity, you've got the searcher there, so there you go. A Mac OS X style with the launcher along the bottom of the screen and the drop down menu at the top. And lastly, the GNOME 2 classic style. So let's go back to Windows 7 and continue this review. Now also in Zorin you get the Compiz effects, so that's the uh, desktop cube. Always a good one that. A few other effects like the Aero Snap. And well there's even more you can enable through the Compiz Config Settings Manager. CCSM for short. Oh, you get the warning about it being an advanced tool, but you know, if you want to play with it, uh, don't worry too much. Uh, I have done a video on the Compiz settings I've used in Ubuntu. So you could go and enable Wobbly Windows. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a lot you can do there. And don't worry about those errors. The Windows 7 desktop is very reminiscent of how it would look in Windows 7. You've got the slightly more Windows 8 styling now. We've got flatter icons. It's starting to cross between the style of the two systems. Yeah. It's a nice job. With the Ultimate Edition you do get it chock full of applications and also the codecs are pre-installed. So if I went across to Rivenbox Media, Media Player I can play all my MP3s without having to install any other applications. Now there are some positive and negatives about Zorin OS 7. It's based on Ubuntu 13.04 so it'll work with the UEFI secure boot biases that we find on Windows 8 systems but we've got the shorter release cycle, so it's only supported for nine months. It does come with a newer kernel, so there's more hardware support. So that is good. Just a real negative there is the shorter support time. Now as you can see we have Steam available in Zorin OS 7 Ultimate. That's great for gamers. Let's take a look at the rest of the applications that it comes with. So there's quite a long lot on this list, which I suppose is good if you don't know what you're looking for in Linux. Under accessories, nothing that notable there, except you've got VirtualBox pre-installed. Under games, well, there's quite a lot of games it comes with. So Steam there, as we've seen. Now Zonatic, that's one of the finest looking open source shoot 'em up games there is. Under Arcade, you've also got a few other games there. Super Tux Kart, quite a nice kart racing game. Under graphics, you've got Blender, Gimp, Inkscape, Scribus, uh, Shotwell Photo Manager, as well as a few other applications. Under internet we have Chrome for the web browser, Pigeon Instant Messenger, Remote Desktop Client, uh, Thunderbird for the email client, and Transmission for downloading torrent files. Office, we've got the full suite of LibreOffice, LibreOffice version 4, as compatible with all Microsoft Office documents, that's right up to Office 2010. I don't know about Office 365 yet though, but I expect it is. There's a few other applications there as, under Office as well. Sound and video, there's quite a selection under here. Uh, there's a couple of things I've installed myself though. GVC view I installed for the webcam viewer and Foco screen I installed to record the desktop. We've got a couple of media players within Amrock and Rivenbox. Audacity Sound Editor. Kazam is another desktop recorder. We've got Caden Live and OpenShot for video editors. There's a couple of audio transcoders there. I've got VLC Media Player, that's very nice. And XBMC Media Player. So you can turn your computer into a home theatre PC. System tools. Uh, nothing too noticeable there. 
the Zorin Background Plus is a moving background that you can enable. I can just go and disable that. It's nice if you want it. But I'm not sure I do though. Preferences also has a few things, but I'm not going to read all those out. Wine. Now, because Linux can't by default install Windows applications, this is what you can use, which is Wine, and also Play on Linux can assist as well. And there's the software center to install new applications. There's one last application I forgot to mention here, which was the Zorin Browser Manager. So it's kind of like the Windows Browser Manager, where you've got a choice of web browsers that you can install. So it gives you a bit of information about them. And you can go and install them from here. And here is what I thought of Zorin OS 7 Ultimate. So easy to use, it certainly is. Easy to install, you can easily dual boot that with Windows or another Linux distro. So styling, absolutely brilliant. So there you've got the six different desktop styles to choose from. Boot up speed, it's a bit slow. It's about 27 seconds on my real hardware there. And Ubuntu 13.04 is about 20 seconds. The number of bugs, there's an occasional glitch there I found on the real hardware test where the the application windows would sometimes just black out. There'd be like two of them side by side that would do that. In VirtualBox though, glitch didn't appear. So, don't know about that one. Uh, selection of pre-installed applications. Well, there is a lot there, but it's ideal for a new user who perhaps wouldn't know what to choose from. Number of applications available. They've added a few extra repositories, but not quite enough for me to give that top marks. Uh, so the good points there, it's ideal for new users to Linux, so whether you come from Mac or Windows, you can have either the same desktop style or perhaps a different desktop style. And the look change there, it offers you six different styles, so there's Windows 7, Windows XP, 2000, Mac OS X, GNOME 2 and Unity styles. And it's compatible with the UEFI Secure Boot that you find on Windows 8 systems. The bad points though, because it's Ubuntu 13.04 based, you've only got a short support time of nine months. However, I thought that was a very good distro, and I've awarded it 85%. So thanks for watching. See you later.